Assalamu alaikum everyone. Have you ever seen a car and you've thought, what's that horsepower label mean in a car? And what's the difference between having 50 horsepower and say 150 horsepower or more? And how does it affect your speed? Or have you ever checked your electrical bills and seen that it takes more money to run a light bulb, a conventional classic light bulb, than an LED light? Well, for all these questions, we are going to be having... Well, for all these questions, we are going to have to look at a key element in physics, which is power. Power is work divided by energy. It's the amount of work done divided by the amount of time it took to make those work done and power is essentially calculating how much work is being done per second so its unit is literally joules per second however it has a special unit which is called watt now watt is the unit for power and it is um, characterized with a capital W. Now, there is also another form of another unit for power, which is called a horsepower. And a horsepower is basically equal to 745.7 watts. Now, this might sound arbitra arbitrary, but we are going to be discussing horsepower in our future series so make sure to subscribe so that you can look forward to that series as well now what does power mean in our daily lives well for example say you have a car that goes from zero to a hundred kilometers per hour in four seconds and another car which goes from zero zero kilometer per hour to 100 kilometer per hour in eight seconds you would say that car one has a much more powerful engine than car two. That is power. A conventional classic light bulb will, ha will consume 60 joules every second, which is 60 watts, 60 watts. A CPL bulb will have a power of 15 watts, which is 15 joules per second. And an LED bulb will have a power of 12 watts or 12, uh, or 12 joules per second. Now you see these and you realize why it would cost much more for you to run a light bulb than to run an LED light. Because an LED light is consuming much less electrical energy than a conventional light bulb. Now, this work that we're seeing in power is actually the energy that is being converted from one thing to another. For example, cars we've gone over in our previous videos. Light is basically converting electrical energy to light energy and a lot more. So we've learned that power, uh, power is all around us. We even need power to survive, both in terms of our household needs and our biological needs. We even have ha powers for cars. Cars burn watts to move, and how many watts it does burn to move depends on road condition, velocity, weather condition, if is it going uphill or downhill, basically it's Y direction, etc., etc., etc. If you look at the work formula and the power formula, you can derive another formula for power, which is power is equals to work times time. You turn that into power is equals to force times distance times cosine theta over time, which gives you distance over time, which is the literal definition of velocity. So we can derive a new equation, which is power is equal to force times velocity times cosine theta. Now, this is similar to the work formula, except it's using velocity and not distance. So force at a specific distance would mean work and force at a specific velocity 
would mean power. And this also means that amount of power is proportional to its speed. Now let's suppose there's a car with a mass of a a thousand kilograms and it goes from an initial velocity of zero meters per second to a final velocity of 25 meters per second which is 97.2 kilometers per hour in five seconds. What is the power that's been burned in these five seconds? First, we have to look at Newton's famous equation, F is equals to ma. And what we know is the mass here. We need to find acceleration to find the force. So we have fi final velocity is equals to initial velocity plus at. We solve for acceleration and we get 5.4 meters per second squared. Now we solve for force, which is 54... Mm -hmm. 5,400 newtons. Now we solve for power and we get around 145,800 watts, which is around 195 horsepowers. So that's pretty much it about power. It is something that affects all the things around you and it is the amount, it calculates the conversion of energy with respect to time. So that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you get notified for any of our future content. And, and if you have any queries or you need anything or you just want to say something, please make sure to leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.